guys. So as you can see, my hair is no longer a far too orange shade of blonde to be accepted by society. It's a lovely magenta pink. This is Arctic Fox's um, Violet Dreams. It came out a lot more magenta pink than I was thinking and what it shows online. But anyway, that's not the point of this video. The point of this video is it is 2019. You probably already knew that. But I've seen some articles online saying that emo is bad. So as a person who didn't really get to explore their identity properly and had it kind of forced onto them during high school, um, I've started to go into that darker side and do the high school thing now. I mean, I also do like it. Black makes me feel comfortable. I prefer emo punk and punk pop and punk rock music. I'm very depressed, but that's separate from the emo-ness, but it kind of feeds into the stereotype. I write a lot of music. Eventually you'll see that. You can check out uh, my YouTube music stuff in SoundCloud down in the description below. Thank you very much. I also like Tim Burton, even though I've only seen Nightmare Before Christmas once, even though that technically isn't Tim Burton, but his name is put on it, so we're just going to ignore that technicality. Yeah, I was never exposed to all of this stuff when I was younger. I was very much the I wear bright colors, I'm happy, Ooh. I play outside, I get perfect grades, I hang out with only nice people, darkness is bad. Like, I literally did not watch Teen Titans until like 2011 because the color scheme was too dark in the beginning and the music starts on a chromatic sort of thing and that makes it sound dark and so I thought it was scary so as soon as the theme song started I would get like freaked out and I couldn't watch it and I'm like oh wait I was just kind of a pussy uh but anyway yeah so I never really got to explore this half of my personality and now that it has been called out by Thomas Sanders in his most recent Sanders size video where he came at my entire soul uh, we're gonna talk about how to be emo in 2019 without getting beat up. So, things that are acceptable as emo in 2019. We have nail polish, uh, you know, black. I also just wanted to do something on my other hand because I watch Simply Nail Logical too much, so that's pink. I'm very surprised at myself, honestly. And this is acceptable a lot more on men and women now, just like in general society, as well as makeup. Uh, I do this almost every day it makes me feel more comfortable and yes I know I'm just copying Virgil Sanders here you can roast me in the comments below so you can see we got that nice good hoodie on hoodies are always acceptable you don't have to be doing basically everyday cosplay black skinny jeans are a necessity you can also wear skirts or whatever other people wear other things that are very emo in 2019 Combat boots! These are the ones that I have now. Got these off of eBay, I think. And I really want to find some that are like platform but also high heeled. But that are then made out of like vegan leather instead of real leather. I don't like real leather, but these are a thing. As are leather jackets. If you don't have a leather jacket, things like jean jackets and bomber jackets and occasionally like a letterman jacket are also very accepted. Also flannels! Lovely. Especially in the winter I love flannel. And basically Tim Burton any reference or any reference to like My Chemical Romance or Panic at the Disco with Tim Burton. Also jewelry. Those like rubber bands you don't see them as much. There aren't many with sayings on them they're normally just for different bands and occasionally different fandoms. A lot of more adult people who are still emo wear like watches, like big watches, or like an Apple Watch. Is Apple Watch still a thing? Then also leather cuffs and like, they're not mandalas, but they're like wooden beaded on like a leather string sort of thing. And you like, you'll see them in like packs, you'll see them for women and men and dark colors, like they'll be black or they'll be like a dark wood, those sorts of things. I mean, this is really only jewelry that I wear on a daily basis. Also, people aren't doing weird belts as much, like these kinds. Uh, you can tell by the fact that you can't 
find them anymore. Also, like, trap pants are no longer a thing. Hot Topic and Spencer's are good places to look, but also thrift stores. That's where I got my Nightmare Before Christmas sweater that you just saw. Or you can make your own stuff like I did. Or, of course, online. Duh. Now, if you look, most of the emos of pop culture, including Brendan Neary, Dan and Phil, Anthony Padilla, Nate Wants to Battle, all of them, have gotten rid of this. I like this, so don't judge me. It's the the side thing. Uh, if you're going to have this, be careful when driving. Maybe, you know, pin your hair back. Because you do kind of lose depth perception, even though you can kind of see, you really can't. All of them have switched either to, like, natural hair, like Anthony and Dan, or have started putting it up in a quiff. But I don't know how to do that. Even when my hair was a little bit shorter, I still couldn't get it into a quiff because it doesn't want to listen to me. If you want references, just find a picture of Brendan Urie and you'll be set. Also, colored hair is always a thing. Whether you're dyeing it black, or you're dyeing it pink or whatever, or you're just doing a little bit of it pink or purple or whatever, that's always been a thing that's been fine. Although, be careful of if you like are working in a corporate setting, because like sometimes they won't like that. Some other things that are acceptable are like piercings, cross tattoos as well. Don't have any of those, but you know, maybe someday. Writing poetry and making music and like art stuff has always been very emo as a way to get out your emotions and also just for like everyone. It's a good idea maybe. Also emo tends to mix in with the nerd community, so you'll see a lot of people with graphic t-shirts of like video games or comics and then lots of anime and superhero and video games that I don't know how to play because I'm really bad at video games and all that sorts of stuff. Now as far as music goes, some people are really like, oh, you shouldn't like 21 Pilots. What even are they? They aren't emo. They aren't punk. They're not rock. Ugh. You like Fall Out Boy still? They have really turned into pop. Ugh. Brendan Urie has gone so much into more acoustics and baroque burlesque whatever. He does a lot of stuff. Don't listen to that. Literally listen to whatever you want to. Uh, some notable emo bands are, you know, uh, Panic at the Disco, Fall Out Boy, 21 Pilots, My Chemical Romance, which I do have to admit I never got into. I'm sorry for all the emos that I just harmed. I didn't get into any of this stuff until after they broke up, so I mean I like some of their songs but you know some of them are a little too sad for me. We're trying to get out of the depression. Uh, according to Google, some other emo bands include Taking Back Sunday, Jimmy Eat World, Falling in Reverse, All Time Low, All American Rejects, The Fold, Paramore, Pierce the Veil, 30 Seconds to Mars, This Beautiful Republic, Tokyo Hotel spelled T-O-K-I-O, -O, Weezer, all of these things you can find on your local rock radio station or YouTube, SoundCloud, Spotify, whatever. Here are some emo things that were never really emo and we need to stop associating with it. Self-harm, drugs, underage drinking, violence, all of those sorts of things. We, yeah. That's just badness and a stereotype that should never have existed in any group. Uh, and you shouldn't, you shouldn't do. Don't do drugs. Uh, d d be safe if you're drinking and of age, don't do violence, and uh, if you feel like you want to hurt yourself, maybe go seek out some help. This video didn't need to be made. Just, I also see a lot of people online who are like, ugh, you shouldn't like that, that's not good, or like, blah blah, and it's like, how about you just not tell me what to do with my life? But anyway, I just told you what to do with your life, I think. Anyway, if any of you could teach me how to do a quiff, uh, d d let me, let me know. And if you liked this video, or even if you didn't, please give it a thumbs up and maybe subscribe, please, thank you. And as always, you can uh, find my social media and my music stuff down in the description below. And that is all I've got for you guys today, and we'll see you guys next time.